Oh, it's a fine, beautiful morning, and fencage. That's what's on my mind, fencage. This is the kind of day where you have to keep working or you'll get cold because it's kind of chilly. With that said, I got my fence up. Well, I got my fence frame up all the way around. I got my gate over there. Now I just got to stretch the fence, and uh, that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, I stretched this piece of fence here, and when I was putting it up, I noticed that it had these twisted edges facing up instead of down. I was thinking, oh, it's a different kind of fence. No, it's not. I got it upside down. The twisted edges here go down. And these are sort of to prevent someone jumping over the fence because those sharp edges will get to you. But we're more concerned about Charlie going under, so I'm going to flip that fence over. But what I did do is while I had it there, I stretched it. I put my line down there. Once you bolt that up, it's almost impossible to disconnect that piece of fence. So what I'll do is I'll take this whole thing loose, turn it over, flip it upside down, disconnect this piece right here, and then uh, put it back on and restretch it with this fence stretcher thing I've got here. And then we'll be good to go. That's the plan. Okay, this is my homemade fence stretcher right here. By the way, I did turn that fence over. And I'm just going to use it to uh, pull that fence tight so I can connect it to that pole. I know it'll stretch that far because it was stretched that far just a few minutes ago. So, here we go. Okay, now we got it up here. So basically, I just tighten the bolts on both ends. Stretch a piece here, stretch a piece there. We'll be about done after that. And then uh, I can go around and look for holes that Charlie can get out through. I might try dropping this end down, down here. I think my fence is a little taller than my poles on this end. But if I took a shovel and did a little diggage right along in here, I could probably ease that down where it would match. I'd make it look a little better, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'll just keep moving along. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I did. I went ahead and just dug a little trench on the end to get this wire to come down so that these two kind of match up. And it would be very easy if I need to. Well, not that easy, but if I went all the way around this fence and dug a little bit like that and then filled it in with dirt to keep Charlie from digging out, uh, that may be something I have to do. I'm gonna, we're gonna kind of see how much of a digger he turns out to be. If it turns out he is digging and trying to escape, then we'll have to take measures such as that and maybe other things too to keep him in. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So that's a pretty good bit of fence, fence edge done there, I think.